See, whenever there are exams going on, just exactly then, a lot of things comes to your mind. A lot of thoughts start to process and exactly same happened to me. I was busy with my master's exam. Uh, it was just an insane exam, but still, thoughts were just coming into mind. I want to do this, I want to do that. And one of the thoughts that came to my mind is, is it now possible to simply learn coding on the mobile phone? And yes, this thought was going on for almost an entire week. So I was just one at a time, I was giving my exams. But on the other hand, I was curious in this new excellent project that can we learn to code on mobile phone? So I tested out both on Android and iOS and tried some cool stuff as well on my own that in the hope that can we code now on mobile phone. And in this video, I'll share my experience that is it even possible. Now, I'm not going to edit this video. This is just a raw thoughts and some experimental thoughts that I have. So no fancy editing, no breaks, no cuts, whatever this is, this is it. Okay, first of all, I do understand the pain of buying a laptop. Nowadays, the economy is doing good. A lot of people have moved on to that phase that they can afford the laptop, at least a secondhand laptop. Uh, for me, when I was in college, which was a long time ago, it was a painful process and I can never ever forget the day when I first got my laptop. It was so difficult. I had to work an extra job so that I can just get some money, have some extra RAM on the mobile phone, have to work for months. My dad has to collect so much of money. It was not possible for us. And even we were looking for a second-hand laptops, third-hand laptop, just give us a device or something like that. And we were asking for colleges and schools, are they selling this some old devices or something like that? It was painful. And getting your first laptop was really one of the best things that ever happened to me. The financials were not good at that time, point of time. I'll never forget that. And I do understand that there are still folks who are in the same financial condition that I was at one point of time, that it is difficult to arrange a food for couple of days and forget about the laptops. So I just thought of doing an experiment that is it possible now to write code on mobile phone? Given the fact that how the world is moving towards the browser-based coding, in case you are not aware of that, these days a lot of labs are available and these labs are from variety of providers from GitHub to Replit to Code Sandbox, Stackblade, Speedablue Labs, that there are a ton of them. And you can choose any one of them to simply write code within the browser, which is a good thing because now you don't have to worry about too much of processing power, uh, GPUs, RAMs, it just is there. Obviously, there's sometimes price included in that, but it's a generous tier that they are offering. So I went on to a hunt that is it same possible on to a mobile phone? And if it is a yes, how can we go far in that? And how is the learning experience? Now, in today's era, it is almost impossible to just say that, no, it's not possible because there will be one exception or two exceptions that will come out and say, hey, I learned coding on mobile phone and I made $600 or $1,000 onto it. But the odds are here. <laughs> you can see that how odd it is that one or two people are able to do it. So what do I recommend now? Obviously, the recommendation depends on what your financial situations are. But anyways, I give it a try. So first and foremost, what I did is I took my this Android phone. Uh, which is a little bit older one, OnePlus device. I guess it's OnePlus 7, 6, I don't know, uh, something like that. And I tried installing some of the phones. Yes, all the favorite uh, culprits of all the ones are there, including the Solo Learn and all of that. Now, what I found out is now there is a lot of abundance of that. I will not name and shame any one single particular app that it is bad or it is good. No, this is not a sponsored video, uh, but I'll tell you. There are types of app which I will easily divide into two segments. The first one being a text and quiz based app. So these are plethora of them. They are available in the market. And I think you should not uh, waste your time in those apps because they are just reading the text. You can do that on the browser as well. On top of that, just when you finish the lecture, there are some quizzes involved in that. Uh, pretty intuitive, but not that much. You are not learning coding by answering the questions. That never is going to happen. So avoid those kinds of things. Then the second category of app where you actually write code, and uh, there are many of them, like Code Sandbox has this app. Uh, it, it was available in iOS, not in Android. But there are a couple of others as well, uh, which you can actually, where you can write the code. But the moment I started writing the code on Replit and all these things, ah, it was painful. I am old guy. <laughs> like Not that old, but yes, old. Old enough that it frustrates me to write on mobile, the titch to titch, all that uh, ticking of the keyboards. I do that, but... I don't enjoy that during my coding process. So I invested in a cable and I connected the cable with the mobile phone and it became considerably better. So my advice would be if you are not able to afford that and you have a good phone, uh, definitely invest in the cable and a, and a decent keyboard. 
The experience actually increases exponentially when you simply go ahead and get a keyboard. Any sort of keyboard will do it. It's not, it doesn't need to be fancy or something like that. But to my surprise, yes, it was up to a certain mark. I was able to learn at least the basics of it. I understand the fact that I was not able to install whatever I want or I will not be able to produce production grade high quality apps or websites on that. But it was doable. It was it was not stopping my journey. I was able to learn something at least out of the day. Uh, so it is a good. So things are moving in the direction now that the code and the labs, everything is moving onto the browser and they are trying to move onto the mobile as well. Uh, how good the experience of watching those tiny text onto the mobile phone? Absolutely horrific. But what I personally recommend is never try to invest on a screen. There are ways how you can connect your screen also with your mobile phone, but you are investing so much you can buy a second hand laptop for that. Also, what I extra did is I installed a couple of lab environment onto server and a VS code onto cloud server as well. And I try to run everything through my IP. A horrible, horrible idea. I'll try to share uh, this kind of experiment, how you can also do it. Uh, I'll walk you through in, in some videos. If you need that, let me know in the comment section. But here are my general raw thoughts that world is moving towards a great extent into the browser-based thing. So if somehow you can actually learn the things in just the browser, that is great. Uh, you don't need to buy a very, very high-end laptop because you can run pretty much everything in the browser, which is far more cheaper than investing in hardware. Yes, we are on that era now. But expecting that you will learn and will do everything on the mobile phone, I think that is still, the time is still not there. And if somebody is fooling you and saying you just buy our courses, you can learn and do things on your mobile phone, I think that's a bullshit advice. Whether you buy that course or not, that's up to you. But I think that's the pure bullshit advice. You won't be able to survive in any course or any kind of a bootcamp or anything just on mobile phone. I think that's a wrong hope. And hope sells easily. <laughs> and that is a true statement. So please don't buy that hope. You are not going to be surviving. Honest opinion, you will not survive a course or bootcamp on the mobile phone. But if you are self-enthusiastic, self-learner, I think it will not stop your journey, but it will not give a rocket to your journey, but you'll be slowly moving there till the time you get your first laptop or somehow arrange, have an arrangement with your friends or colleagues that you can learn an hour or two there. Uh, so yeah, these are just some raw thoughts and some experiments I did during my college time, uh, college exams and stuff. I'll share more about my college and how my master's is going on. If you want that, let me know in the comment section. And yes, just a bit of a raw video. Uh, sometimes I enjoy sharing thoughts with my audience as well. And thank you so much for being kind. Uh, if you like to subscribe, that's okay. If you don't, that's okay too. No worries at all. I'm here. You are here. We'll enjoy. Let's catch up in another some video.